Scorpio, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love-related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot and be sure to stick around until the end of this reading we are going to be pulling a final message from your angels now beautiful soul know this okay and that is that if you have a low frequency because you are focusing on areas of your life your relationships your money uh, your career your body if you're focusing into areas of life that do not leave you feeling confident in yourself that frequency you are going to wear with you like a jacket that everyone and the world is going to see that jacket and respond off of that jacket so it doesn't matter what you are doing in your life if you are still choosing to think thoughts that leave your frequency low you are going to see the validation of that in your outer world and that's going to lead you to down a path that just might not be your biggest truth you see and you might be going through this new um, trying new things and trying new um, different paths right now and you know what they might not be they, they might just not be your truth they just might not be aligned with who you are and so they might not feel necessarily good for you and through that feeling of not feeling good you're going to feel like you're going to need to try to fix things make things better right and at that at the end of the day, you never have to try to make things better. You simply just have to pivot your focus into an area of life that leaves you feeling confident, leaves you feeling like uh, you are uh, released, leaves you feeling energetically good. And from that focus into that particular area, that is when you're going to receive clarity. Okay. So again, let's validate all of this really quick. So five of pentacles, three of swords, right? Going through a little bit of a heartbreak, disconnection, separation, disappointment of some kind. Right, just leaving you feeling again. It could be due to lack of money, could be lack of health, lack of physical appearance, whatever it is for you in your world. Beautiful soul, always know that when we are focusing on the lack, we're only going to expand it. Right, could have something to do with a relationship here, family life, home life. Right, but when you focus on the areas of life that you feel are lacking, you wear it like a coat, and everyone sees that coat. You gotta ask yourself, Scorpio, what coat are you wearing? So at the end of the day, know this: you're always going to be guided into new opportunities. Right. But the thing is, is that sometimes we feel like these leaps, these new opportunities, they, we're, sometimes we feel like that's going to be the thing for us, right? Oh, this leap, this new thing, this, this big thing that's showing up for me, this is going to be where I land and I stay, but it never will be. You're always going to pivot into new things. It's really important for us to have our energy really open and very fluid, not connecting and not being attached to the outcome. Because generally spirit guides us into particular situations and it's never that thing itself that we're meant to stay on. We're always meant to pivot and move forward, you see? So right now we want you to open up your heart, open up your energy and just recognize what it is that maybe you may have been too focused on and may have been practicing in needing to have that thing changed, needing to have that thing fixed for life to continue on, right? Maybe it is, again, something to do with the person that you're with and you're just feeling very disconnected from them. Maybe you're upgrading your life and they're not upgrading theirs and you're just focusing solely on the fact that they're not upgrading theirs, but here you are making all these big leaps and bounds. Again, the, the being that you share your life with sees your coat, right? Sees your coat from what you think about, right? Let your actions speak. Let your actions, let your behaviors speak, right? Detach, right? Detach from the outcome that you think needs to happen. And simply just live your life the way that you want to. Live, the way, live your life for you. And that's when everything is going to change. Because your coat changes. You take it off and you show off how incredible you are. Right? And everybody's looking. And then and everybody's looking. And then at that point, the person that you actually want to see look is going to be looking too. Right? But you got to make sure that you're rocking the energy that you, you want to give out. You know what I mean? And that means that you just got to focus on doing you. Living your best life. Doesn't matter what... What, what is going on around you, what matters is what's going on with you. That's the only thing that matters, right? So spirit has your back. It's time for evolution. It's time for upgrades. Those upgrades are always going to come from you focusing on your own life, beautiful soul. And that means making sure that you have a sanctuary that you give to yourself every day. You take time with yourself every day. This is not a let me do this when I'm depressed kind of a thing. This is every single day you connect to the universe because of what that's showing you is you're connecting to your higher self. It's like, imagine this, right? Imagine you were an alien and you got, you know, 
you got dropped here on planet Earth and you have like a walkie talkie system. OK, and you can only connect to your, you know, guides or your, you know, alien friends who are coaching you through planet Earth. Right. And you only get this certain time of the day or you plan out this certain time of the day where the walkie talkies are going to work. Right. You're probably not going to miss that meeting. Right. Because that's going to be your guidance. Well, it's the same thing. Right. Why would we not? receive the guidance. Why would we think we can go out in there and do it on alone? Why would we even want to? You know what I mean? Why would we even want to? So at the end of the day, create that sanctuary for yourself that you meet with your guides and every single day, because that's exactly what it's like. Um, I meet with mine every single day. My husband and I start our days obnoxiously early because we want to utilize the entire morning, right? So, so we start really early. I wake up an hour before we even start our day just to make sure I have that time for myself. Um, and that just means I prioritize the evening time to benefit my morning time. And that's kind of what it's about. Once you start prioritizing the things in your life that matter for you, right? Uh, prioritize movement, prioritize connection to yourself through that sanctuary practice, that meditation practice, that journaling practice, right? Just time with yourself where you're with yourself connecting, right? Prioritize these things because if, when you prioritize what you love and what's going to benefit you, then you're going to build a life off of that foundation, right? And the more you feel confident with yourself, the more you allow in. Why do we want to allow in? Well, when we allow money flows, write that down in the comments below right now, Scorpio, I allow and money flows. I allow and money flows. Now, if I'm not allowing, it means I'm not comfortable with whatever it is I'm doing, meaning I'm probably fixated on trying to make it work or I'm focused on the problem of it. So in that case, I'm going to go get back to focusing on being me, which is amazing. And then from being me and just feeling incredible, all of that clarity is going to come because you see right now, we feel like there is some resistance. We feel like you need maybe somebody to assist you on your journey. Like you, you are not enough. You need, you need help or what have you, but, but trust in where you're being called and guided right now. See, the thing is, is like, let's, let's, let's talk about a relationship for a sec. Let's talk about this for a sec, right? You're in a relationship. You and your spouse have drifted, right? Why? Because you're both off purpose. Neither one of you are living your purpose, right? You've been both thinking about the lack in your life, the challenges you've gone through, the limiting beliefs, not feeling good, overeating, eating foods that don't work for your particular avatar. Well, it's one big mess, right? Okay. So this happens. And then what happens is the women, the divine feminines, okay, usually the divine feminines, not always, right? But usually the ones that are more, we'll say the creatives, that's a way better way to put it, the creatives, because we all have divine feminine and masculine energy, and it's not the women, let's ex nay that, but it's the divine feminine creative energy, right? Divine feminine creation that generally understand that that the divine feminine creative energy is going to have to be more connected first because it's the divine feminine energy that 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 assists the divine masculine energy. So whether you are male or feminine is irrelevant, but recognize what energy you play more, right? In my particular relationship, my husband is the divine masculine. And I'm the divine feminine. So I was called to connect to my higher self first, more significantly, so I could assist, right? and support his very powerful, very strong divine masculine energy, right? But if the divine feminine mass energy is not in her power, the divine masculine energy will not feel their power. And then there will be an imbalance in the relationship, you see? So that's why it's not about trying to force this particular outcome on somebody or trying to force this. It's about just living your power, right? Living your truth and then being able to support and guide those that are around you without influencing, without needing it to be a different way or, or what have you and vice versa, right? So this message is coming through. Take that how it resonates. Maybe you are the opposite role of that. Um, but either way, uh, always recognize that um, this is a... Uh, 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 attraction based universe. And so whatever it is that we are giving, we are always receiving. But if we are giving need, I need this to go this way. And usually it's deep in there, right? We don't even know we're, do we're creating from that place, but we are right. I need this to happen this way. So I feel okay, right? Then your life is going to always be this scarcity energy, right? Where you need certain things to feel okay. You need your relationship to be okay for you to be okay. You need this to be happening for this. You know what I mean? And when we can just start to connect to our truth, we no longer have that void. And then truly that's when we are in this beautiful receivable mode of abundance. Your angel message for today is law of attraction. And your angels say to you now, each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends. So invest wisely. You have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace, and harmony. At your request, we will gladly attune your energies to higher frequencies. So create that space for yourself, right? You know, if you're, you could either be the divine masculine in the role or the divine feminine, the creative, right? Or the, you know, the, you know, the, when we're creatives, 
We also take action, right? But at the end of the day, recognize when, when you connect to yourself, okay? Whatever energy that is, when you connect to yourself, right? Everything around you will align. But if you focus on areas of life that you find are lacking, it will never change. It will never get better. You have to only focus on putting your thoughts and your focus into areas that leave you feeling your full power. And that is when everything is going to start to unfold in time organically. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.